The only thing I remember about the film is the is the cat suit. I, I love the cat suit. Everything else it, to me was totally uh, non um, memorable. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Olivier Assayas. Why is that? We tapped into at times in France and not just France, but it's kind of to me a trendy, mm. tr trendy. You know, it doesn't go that far for me. There's interesting stuff in the 1996 Emma Vep, which doesn't really work, but is intriguing to watch. The animation. Um, mm. Spoiler, the end of the movie is this um, kind of Norman McLaren animation sequence. And I'm probably the only person who spotted this and ever will spot this. But there are things like uh, they've drawn onto the film quite sort of blocky circles coming out of um, Maggie Chung's eyes. And that's like the early animation in the original Buddha Palm movie when they hadn't quite worked out how to do the, you know, the, the I suppose it's um, chi coming out of people's hands when they blast somebody. Yes. And when you watch the, the 80s, the well-known Buddha Palm mm -hmm. film, you know, by that point, they've got all their laser swords and their x-ray blasts figured out. In the original one, it's all being sort of drawn on in quite a sweet way, which is actually quite reminiscent of the original Le Vampire, because this is very interesting use of animation in the, in, in the original one. But I'm not quite sure that all that stuff works. It looks a bit kind of MTV in 1993, 94, oh, when it's yeah. all starting to wind down. And I, I think that's a little unfair. <laughs> um, you know, the, the notions of, of scratching onto film stock, I mean, is, I mean it's, it's, I, I would say it's a fairly tried and true method of, of avant-gardism and it connects itself I think specifically with say the ending of Kenneth Anger's fireworks or um, what Stan Brakhage was doing for the last say 10 years of his life which were all just direct scratchings onto film stock. The use of the circles that I think actually are there to emulate um, the use of leader which was I mean, it was a cliche in, in avant-garde films around about the 1960s, to be honest, but it certainly gave that impression.